Hello, um, my name's Mike Challoner. Um, I've seen a couple of the shaving videos up on the Big Shave, and I thought, do you know what? I might give that a crack. Um, looks like fun. Um, thought I might show you around my uh, humble shaving setup. Um, so you can have a watch of the video. It's essentially nosing around somebody's house, um, having a nosy in the bathroom cabinets, but I'm actually doing all the rooting for you, so you can just sit back and watch it. Um, so I should watch the video, comment on it, like it, tell me what you think of my products, whether I'm an idiot for owning the ones I do, or if you think I have refined and excellent tastes. Um, so, yeah, so it's in two bits. Uh, I've got the shaving cabinet there, which has all the aftershave balms, lotions, creams, razors, etc. Um, and then I've got a couple of others that are here, that usually live in a drawer. Um, but I've pulled them out because um, I just thought you might be interested in seeing them. So these are the ones that don't get used regularly. I do pull them out on occasion, never to bash with them, but by and large they just sort of sit in my uh, living room, living room bedroom. Uh, first one is a old style Wilkinson Classic. Actually quite a nice, very mild, but very nice razor this. I do quite like this. If I had a little bit more space in, the, uh, in my bathroom, I'd probably use this a bit more. Um, it's a side opening razor. Like that, it's quite a nice little baby thing. Old English Ball Tech, um, an old open comb um, ladies' armpit razor that I picked up. It was in an old Gillette Aristocrat case, um, which I've suddenly passed on. But when I bought it, I got very excited. I thought I'd got myself my first open comb, but it turns out to be a ladies' armpit razor. So that one just sits there. Keep hold of that because the handle's quite good. Might use it on something else. Um, Gillette Fat Handle, fat handle Tech. Uh, my first and backup um, select gym, uh, Gillette Slim Adjustable. A uh, little bit of plate loss on the top there. Um, but yeah, but it, I do have two of these. Um, they are really good razors, so the other one is on my shaving rack. Um, this is an old Chinese razor. Um, it's quite a cheap one, but I do quite like the case. Um, it's got a little place to stash your blades. Jewel, I don't know. I don't think I'll be using them because they came with the razor. Um, little mirror, hello, and a nice little duty three piece DE razor. So, I mean, nice little travel setup that I've just never got around to using it. Um, picked this up today, another fat handle tech, but it came with um, the actual razor, spare head in there, razor itself, and a doody little toothbrush brush cleaner thing, which is quite good. Picked all that up with, including the original box for seven quid today, so I was happy with that. And lastly, a um, Wardonia Bakelite um, Barrel Blade Razor. Unfortunately, they don't make the barrel blades anymore, but this is actually quite a nice little piece. I wasn't over enamoured with it when I first picked it up, but now I do actually really quite like it. I might do a little bit more research and see if they still get the blades from anywhere. Um, if anybody does know where you can get barrel blades from, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, right, let's move on. I did make another video of this, but it was nearly 15 minutes long and I couldn't post it up to YouTube. So if I'm rushing a bit, it's because I want, desperately want to get it under 10 minutes. Um, right, these are the regular six razors that I'm using at the minute. Um, Mercure Open Comb, very nice. Uh, long handle, um, surprisingly mild actually. I wanted an open comb because I thought they'd be really aggressive. Um, but that one isn't. You can go against the grain that without without too much difficulty in favour of chopping your face off. Um, Wilkinson sword sticky. Uh, I've got the case in the other room. Really quite a nice, and again, really quite mild, but a lovely razor. It really is quite a, a well designed bit of kit that I do like it. Uh, that's the thing that started it all off. A Edwin Jagger DB eighty nine that the missus got me. Ooh, only about seven or eight months ago and all this sort of collection's grown and blossomed since then. Um, that is a my other um, Gillette Slim Adjustable, which I do find myself using on occasion. Um, just out of interest, if people use adjustables and they change the settings on a mid-shave, do you start off mild and go more aggressive, or do you start off aggressive and go more wild, uh, mild? Just... Uh, just a quick question for you on that one. Uh, a Gillette Super Speed? No, not a Super Speed, it's a Gillette Rocket HD. And lastly, the 
Bakelite Slant that has been doing the rounds currently on uh, a couple of the web forums. I uh, picked mine up last week from Joseph at Italian Barber. That's the only place you can get them from, actually. Um, a lot of those have been sold at the minute, and for good reason. Uh, Leisure Guy was singing the praises, and I've used it two or three times, and it is a superb little razor. It takes a little bit of getting used to it because it's so light, but apart from that, it's superb. Next, we have... Jack Daniel's uh, miniature bottle kit, which, um, well, it's the tin from that, which has my old um, razor blades in, so once that's full, put a bit of duct tape on it and um, bin it. Two brushes, one bore, one badger. Only use the bore one about half a dozen times. It's breaking in nicely, but I think that'll be really, really nice when a few more of the ends have split and the best badger that I've been using now for a good 12 months. That's the very first pet I got. I actually used, like, just big disposables for a while before I bought anything else, and that is now... It's a really, really nice um, nice badger brush. Um, cosmetic Lad, um, just some facial moisturiser. Lush's creams are crap, but the moisturisers are actually really good. And a cheap septic pencil from Boots. Uh, these are my shaving soaps and creams. Uh, we have some Tobbs Sandalwood Shaving Cream, which is nice. Uh, the Lemon and Lime stuff. Uh, I know a lot of people are mad keen on that, but I really do quite like that. It's a very nice, uh, great in the summer. I took it on holiday with me to um, Gozo and it was red hot and it was really, really refreshing. Palm Olive Shave Stick. Um, for the price, you cannot grumble at all. It outperforms some of the much more expensive uh, soaps and creams that I've used. Really, I'm quite impressed. And even though I do have some of the top end creams and soaps, I do find myself coming back to that one. Um, like I say, if you told me that that was seven, eight quid a stick, I would believe you. Uh, Edwin Jagger, uh, aloe vera traditional shaving soap, again very good, very mild, if you've got a bit of razor burn or I've had a sloppy shave and I need to shave again, that's the bob by a whip out because it is very mild. Um, Truffet and Hill almond shaving cream, um, very nice, I got that of a freebie because I ordered some cologne and some um, aftershave balm which I'll show you in a minute, I came free with it, um, very very nice. Um, is expensive, but it is you know you you pay for quality, don't you? I think you, there's a lot of diminishing returns. Um, I don't think it's worth you know paying twelve, fifteen times that you would do for the palm olive stick. But it is nice. It's a nice bit of a treat. Um, it smells a bit like biscotti to me. Uh, Truffet and Hill uh, aftershave balm again, very nice. Is it worth the price tag? Pff, million dollar question, isn't it? Um, I do quite like it, but again, it's more of a Get your family, your friends to buy you for Christmas. Nivea, bow shave, after shave balm. Again, that's just sort of every everyday stuff. A couple of shaving creams that me and a friend are developing at the minute. I won't tell you too much about those because I sent some samples out and I'm waiting for opinions back on them. Um, if you have a look at the back there, there's just some sort of generic rubbishy uh, after shaves, your Hugo bosses and stuff like that. So we want to just focus on them. Taylor Road Bond Street aftershave bar, uh, aftershave, lovely stuff again though, is quite expensive, I think I paid about 17, 18 quid for a bottle of that, but it is nice, um, Old Spice, that came with some deodorant from Home Bargains for a fiver, I think for that price you really cannot go wrong, um, Truffet and Hill Sandalwood Cologne, very nice, um, complements the Tops shaving cream very, very well. Uh, the DH, the DR Harris Bay Rum, that's just a sample I picked up from Canart Shaving, I think. Um, quite nice, it's just very, very clove heavy, very clovey, and I don't like clove so much because it smells like toothache, because I used to use it when I had a bit of toothache, and the, I just associate the smell with that, so I think if I use it a few more times, I might be able to disassociate the smell with toothache, so we'll see how we get on with that. Um, I'll give a quick shout out to the job alone. Um, lime, basil and mandarin stuff, it does go very well with the tops, uh, eating college stuff, both very citrusy. Um, last couple of things, uh, a shaving mug that I picked up today, I've not actually used that yet, I'm going to use it tonight for my shave. Bang some lather in that, bang it in the sink and uh, have some hot lather. It's good to the time of year where that sort of thing really will make a difference. And last but not least, um, my razor blades, there's quite a few different brands that I like in there. There's some feathers, some 7 o'clock sharp heads, some super platinums, treats, and some feathers. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, leave a comment in the videos, tell me what you think.
Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye.